Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition, page 192. Briefly, describe the anatomy of the lymph node. To describe the anatomy of the lymph node, let's briefly take a look at the picture. We're going to start off talking about the capsule. As we mentioned earlier, that lymph node is an encapsulated organ, so therefore you see the capsule. Right underneath that is the subcapsular sinus. You also see many of the afferent lymphatics and one or more of the efferent lymphatic. You also see the medullary sinus, which contains the macrophages. There is the trabecula, along with medullary cords in which there are plasma cells. There is also the paracortex, which contains the T-cell, and the follicle of the cortex, which contains the B-cells. And lastly, each lymph node will have an artery and a vein. So to remember the layers from superficial to deep, remember there's the capsule first, followed by the subcapsular sinus, followed by the follicle of cortex, then the paracortex, and then the medullary cords and the medullary sinus. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.